talk, especially as a guard. What is your biggest asset is when the ball is in your hand and the coach can depend on you to make good decisions. And good decisions mean good passes. In transition and to have court, post injury, all that you can make good decisions and good passes when you got the ball in your hand. Because if you can't be trusted to make good decisions with the ball in your hand, guess what's going to happen? The ball going to be taken out of your hand and given to somebody else. You know, anything that's really in the post is very physical. You know, you got to establish contact. You got to be comfortable with hitting people. You have to be comfortable with being hit. All right, and you're not going to get better, especially around around the paint in terms of finishing, unless you guys get comfortable with being hit and then also hitting other people. All right. You know, trust stuff. That's what the game of basketball is about. You know, when you're frustrated because you fouled out a game. You know, that's what it is. You got to figure out how not to foul out. How to be physical with Gilbert in the paint without getting a foul. Knowing what the ref is going to let you get away with. Let's go. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. work. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I made you think my highlights started at the free throw line and not in the gym. Maybe I made you think that every shot I took was a game winner. That my game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it's my fault that you didn't see that failure gave me strength, that my pain was my motivation. Maybe I led you to believe that basketball was a God-given gift and not something I worked for every single day of my life. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you just making excuses.